Segment sponsored by Christian Assisted Living of Johnson City. Christian Assisted Living and Abundant Christian Living Community are both located right here in Johnson City. And this morning, we want to welcome Kim Meadows and Kayla Baker to daytime to share with us more about these two unique options for assisted living right here in the Tri-Cities. Good morning. Good morning. Tell us what makes your facilities unique. Yeah, so Abundant Christian Living Community, we're located yeah. right in Johnson City, as mm -hmm. you said. And our community is the area's only continuing care retirement community. So we have independent living, assisted living, and then the long-term yeah. rehab center. So residents can transition to the next level of care when needed. Right. So we are able to help seniors find the level of care desired. And Kim, tell us what makes you, what do y'all have to offer? Uh, we are assisted living and memory care. Okay. Um, so we have um, seen the statistics and um, locally, and we have seen the need mm -hmm. to expand our memory care unit. Right. Um, so we have done that. Um, our memory care community, we have expanded it. Um, we have um, a studio apartments, um, primarily for privates, but we also have semi. Um, shared apartments as well if you were a husband and wife and right. wanted to come do assisted living as well. Um, so we have both those two options. And what's, <clears throat> what are some of the different options that are available on your campus, Kayla? Yeah, so as I mentioned, you know, we have all levels of care. Right. Uh, a lot of people simply just don't know what independent living is. So it kind of takes off that stress of upkeeping a home. You know, when you get older, things mm -hmm. like mowing the lawn, housekeeping, maintenance can be tough. So we kind of bridge that gap and we offer everything from studio apartments all the way up to penthouses. Um, you know, lots of times people come to us and they have been in their home for 30, 40 years. You right. know, how do you make that transition? Right. So we've got, you know, 2,400 square foot units mm -hmm. where residents don't have to make such a drastic transition all at once. Um, but as they, you know, continue to age and need more care, we've got smaller units that they can move into. Right. So really we're just, you know, there to serve seniors in independent living. And then as they do age and need mm -hmm. more care, they can remain in assisted living right in the same building and then transition to long-term care rehabilitation center. Mm -hmm. um, so it's nice that we just work together and you know when our residents do need memory care mm -hmm. we work very closely with right. Christian yep. assisted living so we just all work together to figure out how we can better serve the seniors. Right. And I think it's a conversation we all got to have with our parents and we got to have with ourselves at one point in our time in our lives. When, are we, when do we need to start having those conversations about uh, the need for assisted living? Yeah, and I think that's something Kim and I see every day. Yeah. Um, it's never too early to start mm -hmm. planning for your future. We tell people all the time, invest in your healthcare future. Right. Um, we are 55 and above. You know, we might not see as many people who are 55 move in, mm -hmm. but hey, it's never too early to think, you know, how can we plan for the future? Um, because this is something we want people to do when they have a choice, right. not when they're forced to. Right. And I'm sure Kim has seen yeah. many people who mm -hmm the families have to force them yeah. to move in. We have also seen 13% um, of Tennesseans alone, 45 and over, have some type of cognitive decline. Right. So there is a, need, a huge need for it, whether it is just the assisted living side where you need just a little bit of help because mm -hmm. um, you can't remember to take your medicine, things like that, or your, you know, your dementia, Alzheimer's, there's different types of dementia. Um, so that's why we have our memory care community right. to be able to help those families and the loved ones as well. And we're just about out of time, but I want to ask, do you, do you need to make an appointment? Do you need to pick up the phone and call and say, I'd like to make an appointment and talk to you all about this? You can call right. or you can stop by anytime. Okay. We right. are always available. Um, if we're not available, we have staff members as well that can help. All right. Thank you for stopping by, You're sharing welcome. the thank, story of that. Thank you for having us. Let's, get, it, let's you. get you some information right now on the screen. Christian Assisted Living of Johnson City located right over here on University Parkway. If you want to find out more, we've got a great website right there. And also that phone number right there is very important. And Abundant Christian Living Community of Johnson City is located on Sherwood Drive right over in North Johnson City. If you want to find out more, number, website there. Folks, it's a tough question you have to ask sometimes, but it's a question that is part of life, and they have great answers for you at both of those locations. The preceding segment sponsored by Christian Assisted Living of Johnson City.